Hello guys, it's Phenom Mods, and I'm back. Um, today I'm going to make a tutorial in UDK on how to switch DirectX 9 to DirectX 11 if you have a compatible graphics card. Um, but before I get started, I'm going to tell you a little something. Um, I'm back. One. Two, I need more tutorial, like, requests, obviously. Um, I'm going to be posting this tutorial link on a few forums, trying to get some views, get myself back out there. Um, I know I don't have the highest sub subscriber count or view count, but hoping to change that. Um, okay, so I have a new microphone. I got the Blue Spark with a uh, audio interface. I got the Scarlet 2i2 um, audio interface, and now I'm having now I have professional audio per se. Um, because in my previous tutorials, you guys were com like complaining about the clicking sounds, which will be no longer in my videos. And also, we're complaining about my audio quality. My voice just sucked. So, now that we got over that, let's get started. Um, first, going to launch up the UDK. I just installed a fresh install of UDK. This is the November 2012 build. And it really isn't subject to any change. See how right here it says DirectX 9? Yeah, we're going to make that say DirectX 11. Um, DirectX 11 is just a more sped up, uh, more graphics card driven higher quality like rendering system and it's easy enough to switch to it's really quick and easy so right now we're in Dr. DirectX 9 and um, yeah DirectX 9 you're not gonna notice much difference but when you go to render stuff yeah so you go to file switch render and then there's DirectX 9 and then in DirectX 11 as soon as you select DirectX 11 it's gonna restart UDK it's going to ask to restart UDK. Push yes. And then it's going to restart. And right here it says DirectX 11. And now to switch to DirectX 11. This is not going to work if you have a, a incompatible graphics card. I'd recommend at least a, um, a GeForce GTX 460M by NVIDIA. That's what I have. I'm actually out of date right now. I actually have to get a better laptop. But right now this is working for me. Um... So yes, uh, that's about it. Um, this is a quick tutorial, and um, not much change you can notice. It's more in the tessellation and all the different features that come with DirectX 11, like better like mesh breaking. Uh, I believe uh, there's also reflective materials. I'll be doing a tutorial on soon. Um, there's a bunch of other features to it, and if you're hearing. My computer in the background, I actually need to start recording my audio away from my computer because it gets really, it has really a lot of dust in it and I have to dust it out. So, that's about it. Um, please subscribe. Watch my other tutorial videos if you haven't yet. Um, like this video, add it to your favorites. It really helps me to get back going. Um, and that's about it. Thank you guys and peace out.